My final remarks with you, my brothers and sisters in Islam. Look, I tell you this, Wallah, listen to me. Open your hearts, listen with your heart and with your soul. My brothers and sisters, nothing, Wallahi, nothing will remain with us after our death, other than our righteous deeds. Your wealth, your cars, like even your clothing, what you're wearing now, your, your keys for your cars, for your house, nothing, nothing will remain with you when you die. Not even your name. People will refer, where is the deceased person? Where is the body? Has the body been washed? Has the body been prepared? Has it been shrouded? That's how, even your name is gone. Nothing will remain with you after your death other than your good deeds. And you'll be put in your grave alone. And people will get this dirt and they will bring it back onto your grave until your grave is sealed and you're right underneath, in there, alone. Perhaps people will stand there for a while, make some dua for you, and then the vast majority of people will forget you. Who's going to remember you after this? How will you help yourself? Who will stand with you? When you're in your grief, alone, in its darkness, in its gloominess, and it is tight, what's going to stand with you? What is going to help you? People have buried you and forgotten you. Maybe if your wife remembers you, or your husband remembers you, or your children remember you, maybe from time to time they make a dua for you. But can you be affording to leave this world of life relying on this? Now Allah, a same Muslim doesn't do this. The only thing that is going to help you are your righteous deeds. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells us, for a believer, the matter is, when he's put in his grief, a beautiful looking man will approach him. And he smells beautiful, and he looks beautiful, and he is clothed beautiful. He appears to the believer in his grief. And the believer would say to him, Man ant, who are you? Your face brings about good news. With a pleasant smell, beautiful looking, who are you? For that person will say, Ana amaluka salih. I am your righteous deeds. And so he sits with him and keeps him comfort until the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar. This is the benefit of your righteous deeds. That's the only thing that's going to benefit you after your death, my brothers and sisters in Islam. Then the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, You know, warulahu fi qabri. The grief of the believer would be illuminated, light would enter it, light stronger than the sun. And you know, we know that as-salatu nur, the prayer is light. قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورٌ وَكِتَابٌ مُبِينٌ Al-Qur'an is nur. It lights up the grief of the believer when he's there alone. <clears throat> now, for you need to يعني, work on your good deeds. Work on this. They are going to help you in your grief. Finally, I share with you one hadith. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, when the believer in his, he's put in his grief, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the deed, as-salat, would be at your head, at the believer's head. And your fasting would be on your right. And your zakat would be on your left. And all the good deeds that you did of sadaqat, charity, uh, enjoining the good, forbidding the evil, uh, goodness to the people, and all of this, all of the good deeds would be at your feet. So you have good deeds all around your body. So then an angel would come from your head. The punishment wants to come from the head of a believer. And so the prayer would say, There is no entry from here. So the prayer defends you. And he says, there is no prayer from here. So the punishment would come from the left. And that's where the fasting is. And the fasting would defend you. And it would say, There is no entry from here. It's closed. Go somewhere else. So the punishment would come from the left side. And the left side is where your zakat is. A charity. And that would say, There is no entry from here at all. The door is closed. And so then the punishment would go from the feet. Wanting to attack from the feet. And then uh, the feet would say, مدخل. There is no entry from here. And then the punishment is warded away from the person. Allahu Akbar. 
What saved you from the punishment in the grave? Al-amalu salih Righteous deeds, especially the prayer, fasting, az-zakat, and all the other deeds that we know about. Allahu Akbar. So don't be lazy, my brothers and sisters in Islam. They are only 10 days alongside their nights as well. All of them are important, the 10 days and the 10 nights. Focus hard, stay strong, ask Allah to give you the ability and the strength that you worship Him.